What is going on, you guys? It's your boy HP20. Welcome back to my channel today. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make a YouTube thumbnail. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, so let's get started. So this is how I'm gonna show you guys how to make a YouTube thumbnail. Before we get started, quick disclaimer, I'm not an expert at Photoshop, this is just how I do it. If you guys do find an easier way how to make a thumbnail for YouTube, I recommend doing it your way. It's just one more how to do it to reach the goal. Now that we got out of the way, you guys, let's get started. So first thing you wanna do is make a brand new thing in Photoshop, and you wanna go to new, and you wanna make sure your frame rate is 1280 by 720, pretty much. If you have 1280 by 720, you are good, because when you upload to YouTube, it will upload. If it's not, 1280 by 720, it will not upload technically. So make sure you have that right frame rate. The next thing you wanna do is go and pick some photos. So this tutorial, I'm gonna pick this girl right here. And I'm also gonna pick the city of LA right here technically. So first thing I'm gonna do is take the city of LA. So I'm gonna copy this over to my new thumbnail frame rate over here. We're gonna paste this. We're gonna control transform. We're gonna stretch it out. So it's ready. So it's all the way around the on the entire uh, picture, technically entire frame. Next, we want to get her. So we're gonna get her as well. We're gonna copy her over to also to the page as well and bring her over. And we're gonna paste her in. And next, we're gonna do you guys. We are going to put a layer mask on her. We want to make the two photos together, blend it together technically. So before we do that, let me just fix this real quick. Okay, there we go. Right, like I said, so we want to. Put a layer mask on her, so let's do that. So layer mask her. Then we want to go up here to images. We want to put apply images. And then now, as you see, she's combined with the LA photo. Here we go. Boom. The next part we're going to do cleanup. I'm going to bring her in all along with the LA photo. So it's going to blend it together. So I'm going to cue a time lapse right here. And here we go. Okay, all right, you guys. So there you go. So as you pretty much did, so now it's finished cleaning up, you guys. Now let's get to the part where you want to finish adding a thumbnail. So once you pretty much got to this point where I'm at, we pretty much did like your cleanup and everything. You clean everything up, you got to the way you want to be. Now you just want to add like more description, make more people, the audience understand what type of thumbnail you're trying to go for. Like what type of thumbnail is going to be technically. So for say the tutorial, let's make it more, let's make it more like enticing, more clickable, technically. If your thumbnails are the most important thing, you gotta make sure your thumbnails are very clickable, because if your thumbnails are not clickable, nobody's gonna wanna watch your video. So let's add in some more stuff to make it more interesting, stuff like that. So what we can do is, I'm gonna go over here to my thing, I'm gonna add in a Photoshop emblem over here to the thing, and we're gonna add that into the, our overall thumbnail look, technically. And let's free transform it, move it over here, bring it out a little bit, boom, -da, doom, that's perfect, there we go. And also too, why don't we add in some text? I think adding a text makes a really good job to really entice a thumbnail overall. So let's just say for this one, how to make a thumbnail. Very simple. How to make a thumbnail. Hit okay. If you wanna see it, we have to change the font. Cause my font is black for some strange reason. Switch it to white so we can see what we write. There we go. How to make a thumbnail. And I just spelled thumbnail wrong. Let me fix that real quick. Fix it, there we go. How to make thumbnails. And if we wanna change it and we wanna make it a little more different and you wanna make it bigger, all you have to do is pretty much hit Control Transform, Control T, and bring it down like this, make it more enticing. Boom, there we go. How to make a thumbnail. Well, how to make how to make a thumbnail. So, yeah, bad grammar. Let me let me take off how to make thumb. Actually, you know what? Let me say that. How to make thumbnails. There we go. Take off the A. There we go. That's better. How to make thumbnails. That's more enticing. There we go. And then what we can do is we could bring in an arrow. We could bring in an arrow to really signify um, what I'm really talking about. And then we pretty much have to do a little bit of cleanup right here. So I'll be back, you guys. Quick time lapse. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So after we finish that, let's just control transform it. Let's make it, we're gonna bring it up to the part where I'm talking about how to make thumbnails. We want people to understand what exactly, when they click on this video, they know exactly what they're gonna be 
pretty much showing pretty much. You can make any size you want. I'm just gonna make mine super small. I like my, my preference this way and pretty much right there, boom. There, so now our arrow is, now the arrow is showing how to make thumbnails. So very last thing we could do to pretty much seal this thumbnail off, you're ready for upload for YouTube. What we could do is just add like a couple like little highlights here and there pretty much. So uh, let's turn around and let's add a highlight to our Photoshop. We went over to, to your FX, go to outer glow. And now you have a little nice little outer glow. You could make any way you want. So I'll make mine a little brighter like that. There you go, boom. Our Photoshop and a nice little brightness to it. We can also add a, a little um, a little glowness to our words. How to make thumbnails, make it more even more enticing. So we can go over there, make give that a nice little outer glow if we wanted to choose any color we want. For Sega tutorial, I'll make mine. I'll make it pink. Okay, there we go. I, mean, I made it pink pretty much. That's pretty much it, you guys. So like I said, your thumbnails long overall long story short come in the full circle with this. You could pretty much be any way you want it to be, honestly. You know, I just recommend making your thumbnails a little bit more like spontaneous. Make sure they're very interesting because people want to click on the videos. But that's pretty much it, you guys. We have the main thesis. It's how to make thumbnails. You know what the video is going to be on. You click on it, and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna wrap up there, you guys. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial video, which I love creating for you guys, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, road 100 subscribers. Also, if you guys can like the video, it means a lot to me as well. Share it with your family and friends. That's what I'm gonna you guys. Take care, have a great day. It's your boy C20, I'm out, you guys. Peace.